to do is have updated their new calendar view. Now specifically, they've updated how the calendar works in the today view. Now this is a brilliant addition to a calendar view. Now I'm not big on actually using a calendar within a task manager. However, the way that Todoist have put this together actually makes it incredibly useful, particularly for those of you who are using time blocking or some form of time blocking. Let me show you and explain. Okay, so when Todoist opened or launched their calendar view, I thought, mm, okay, it's just another calendar view. But the thing was, is that actually they were just giving you an overview of what was going to happen. So what I was seeing was from my this week calendar here is I would see something like this and then I could move stuff in like that. And yeah, okay, it was... Um, I mean, I could see how useful it is, but the thing, the old problem I've always had with this is, as soon as you schedule a task, it's no longer a task, it becomes an event. Because a task is something that can be done at any time in the day, an event has to be done on a specific day at a specific time. A clear definition between the difference between an event, something that goes on your calendar, and a task which is something that goes in your to-do list because ultimately you can do that at any time in the day and it wouldn't matter if you don't do it because you can then reschedule it for another day. However, Todoist have been smart about this because how they've utilized the calendar in the today view makes it incredibly useful. Let me show you. So I'm going to go into my today view here. Now currently this is how I always look at my today view. I separate it or I organize it by the different categories of work that I have. So in my case it's writing, audio, visual, communications admin and chores. But if I look at this here, um, by the way for those of you who are curious how do you do that? Well what you do is you go into your view which is up at the right here and you can go by grouping. So if you go here, I've grouped by label. So it all groups by label. If I remove that label, if I remove that and just go none, I end up with just a regular to-do list. This makes it much more uh, focused for me because I actually divide my day up on my calendar, like I've got writing time, audio visual time, etc. Okay, so this is how I've always had it. But as I was playing around with the new today calendar view, something interesting has happened. Now, what I've got here is my calendar for today. I'm just going to remove this sidebar. I'm just going to hit M. That removes the sidebar. So now I've got my calendar view here. Now, I've got a number of things in here. For example, update coaching client list. Uh, what I can do is go into here. This should not be timed, so I'm just going to go into here and I can remove the time by just going down to the bottom, click that, times off, and you'll see that it's now disappeared from my calendar view. So here's my day on my calendar. So today is a, uh, for me, a content creation day. I don't have any appointments, so it's actually going to make this a little bit easier. But what you'll see in my calendar is I start my day as usual with my morning routines, which is about 45 minutes, and then I do start my work. So in this case, I've got uh, an hour and 15 minutes, an hour, and, an hour and 30 minutes of writing time, and now I'm in my audio visual time. And then later in the day, I've got communication time, exercise, take my dog for a walk, and then admin time. So I've got certain things scheduled already for today, and I've got plenty of gaps in between, like here and here, for each eating and doing all the other little bits that come in. Now, to help you here, what to do is to have done, I don't know why that's opened up, let's just move that. To help you here, we go into plan. Now I've got here all the tasks that are on my to, to task list today. So I've got eight tasks on my task list. So as I'm planning the day, what I can do is I can now go into this and I can look at my calendar, let's start with the morning, and I've got a 8.15 to, 8 to 9.45 writing time. So I'm looking for my writing tasks. So I've got one here, I've got one here. So what I can do, buh, 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 I'm going to bring back the menu, go back to my today. So what I can do, let's remove the menu, what I can do is in my writing time, I'm going to move these tasks. I'm going to move that into here. So writing, 
And then I've got another one, which I saw somewhere down here, which is writing, writing my coaching feedback. So I'm going to put that there. So what you'll see is these are now just listed. There's no time necessarily involved here. They're just listed. So these are the two tasks that I'm going to do in my writing time today. Now, I think an hour and a half, 90 minutes to do this probably is not quite enough, but it doesn't really matter because this is the only time I have to do my writing. So let's get as much of that done as possible. Now we move on to my audio visual. Now remember, this is part of the planning for the day. So let's move on to my audio visual time. So I've actually got, uh, looking at this, three and a half hours for audio visual. Now I know that my videos take a long time, so I'm just going to move that one in here. Um, and I'm going to move, where's the other one? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, edit Thursday's video. So let's put that in there as well. So that's going to take care of all those three hours. Now I'm not worried about this telling me that 11, 10 or 11, 12 as it's showing there, that's not really that important to me. What important is now is that in my audio visual time, I can see the work that I need to do in that time. So let's continue down here. Update coaching client list is going to be an admin task. I can see it right there because I've labeled it admin. So it's an admin task. I'm going to move that. I'm going to move that down to my admin time down there. So that's now in my admin time. I'm now looking for things that like communication. So I've got some communications here and I've got my communication time there. So I'm going to move that into my communication. And this one is another communication, so I'm going to move that into there. Now, all that leaves me is wash the car. Now, I'm not going to set a time for that because I might decide to do that between uh, 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. Or I might say, oh, I've got time at uh, between 1.30 and 3. Let's go out and do it. I like to have something physical, some physical activity between sessions of work. So if I wanted to, yes, I could move that into here and say wash the car. I could, uh, but I'm choosing not to do that because I want the freedom to decide when's the best time to do that. So what I'll do is I will just go into here and again we have to go into this and I need to remove the time. So I remove the time and that's it. You can't just drag it back to the unscheduled. You do need to go into the task. But when I look at this now I have got uh, let's just move this. So I have now got my day planned. I've got my all the tasks that I need to do in the different categories of work that I do are now scheduled. This will also tell me if this is realistic because if I've got like write the learning note, write to write the blog post, write so you know several other things, I can see that in 90 minutes I'm not going to be able to write them all. But these are the critical ones, so I'm going to put them into that time. Similarly with this audio visual time, I have got it all set up so that this is realistic in the three and a half hours that I've got. This would be realistic within the time um, that I've got for my communication time. And of course, very easily update the coaching client list uh, at eight o'clock. And that's it. My day now is planned. And as long as I stick to my time blocks that I do sit down at 8.15 this morning and write, I did, and I'm doing my audio visual time right now, like recording YouTube video, I am. And as long as at three o'clock this afternoon, I sit down and do my clear the action this day folder, I will do, job's done. My day is organized. And of course, within here, you can actually check them off, which I have done. I didn't check them off this morning uh, because obviously, I was going to record this video. But there you go. Now you can see that as I'm doing this, I can check these off and it's working just normal. Now to get back to your list view, if you prefer, you can go back to your list view right here and you can do it from there. Now I notice in here that it's actually giving me 15 minute segments to do the task. I'm not really going to pay attention to that because if I am using this calendar view, which I probably won't because I'm stuck in my ways. I like to see things in a list. At least I know that looking at my calendar view, my day is realistic. I can get all this done. Anything else, it's not going to happen today. I won't have time. 
So that's Todoist new calendar today view. You only get this option in the today view. It is very different in your, if you try to do this in your projects, it's not quite the same. It doesn't look the same or anything like that. But having said that, I actually like the idea, particularly for those, I mean, you can move things around if you want on here, but I prefer to just use a list view for most of this. But today is where what I call the business end. This is what's happening at the business end of your time. If you're doing your daily and weekly planning, then this area here, you shouldn't be working from because you've already decided what needs to be done and you can go into your today view and you can work from there. Hopefully that's giving you some clarification on how to use this great new feature from Todoist in the today view, it's a really functional, useful part of using a calendar within a task manager, which I have to confess is not something that I'm usually a big fan of, but I can see within the, the today view here, I can see that this is actually really quite useful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you want to learn how I have my Todoist set up, you can watch this video up here, which will show you precisely how I am using Todoist today.